modules. All two modules. Structures. They're all modules. All modules huh? Right now, it's probably looking down on Newfoundland. I'd say gross more National Park, to be probably quite honest with you. Oh, come on. No, yeah. seriously. Yeah. yeah. By the time we it disappears on our horizon over there, it'll be about three or four degrees off the off the ground, probably. It'll be well out over the Atlantic east of Newfoundland. That's one of the best viewings I've had of that. I've seen it many times, and this is the best view I've had. How's it fuel? Yes. It, uh, it was basically launched, and it's been going around. Like, things that orbit the Earth basically are falling into gravity all the time, but they're moving fast enough that they follow the curvature of the Earth, so they never actually fall to the ground. If it slows down, then it will, it will come back into the... Uh, yeah. Power? Momentum. Solar. Just the momentum solar, yeah. that perpetual it was launched with. Motion? Perpetual Well, perpetual falling, put it that way. Because it's always falling. It's always falling into the Earth's gravity. But it's moving fast so enough. why isn't it getting closer? Because watch gravity. what I'm doing here. It's moving fast enough that it's following the curvature of the Earth. So as it falls, the Earth falls away as well. And so it just keeps going. Because the Earth is rotating? No, because so the Earth is um, curved. Oh. It, it Take wants a, to go in a, a ball line. on the yeah. string, and yeah. you swing it around. If you do it too slow, it's going to fall in. If you do it too fast, it's going to fly away. So what you want is a balance. So it just stays the right distance all the time. So that's what's happened to that. Uh, but my arm system. is 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 providing the mo the, the power. Right. Flow. That's right. But there, it's rocket ships. Rockets once on the space so now, no, no, Once you no, get it going, on. once you get it now, going, the motion it itself, going. it's centrifugal force. It's no kind of acting the pull of gravity. There's no gravity. So once yeah, you get something going, it goes to There is gravity. Well, very little. Well. It goes indefinitely. It wants to go straight out. Right. But gravity will Pretty neat. Uh, pull it back create, in. create yeah. like a circle, but it goes out. Yeah. But gravity yeah. pulls it into a circle. And, and the fact is, is if, the earth, if the Earth is a flat plane, it would crash. You never thought but the Earth is a flat. It's curved. So as this goes in, as gravity pulls it down, the Earth is falling away as well. So there's still the same distance there as it gets to the point. A little bit interesting done to uh, back in the 1940s, I'd say, because that's when they that's when they first started putting up geosynchronous satellites. Uh, uh, science fiction writer uh, Arthur Clarke, I believe it was, back in the 1940s, uh, came up with the idea of putting three satellites around the Earth for constant communication. Because satellites for uh, the geosynchronous, they call them, are about 23,000 kilometers out in space. Or actually, 40, 23,000 miles, 40,000 kilometers out in space. And they stay, because of gravity, because of their motion, they stay over the same point of the Earth all the time. Whereas that, at 300 kilometers, keeps going around and around and around a lot faster than anything else. And that's why it passes over rather than staying in one spot. Like, um, the moon, the moon. Exactly. The moon is rotating, but it takes 28 days to rotate, and it takes 28 days to move around the Earth. Therefore, we only see one face at all times. It's gravitational locked, is what they call it. And there are other there are other moons of other planets. Yeah, other than like that. What's that? Yeah. Quite possibly, yeah. I, I couldn't say which ones. Uh, Mercury is like that with the sun. One face towards the sun. Okay. <laughs> Good to have you out. Thanks for coming out.